sleeping in a hammock next to a trout stream, catching lots of trout, cooking great food, but we start off with some four wheel driving. To get to our campsite, me and Libby actually have to cross a few rivers and I had to check them out first. That's her standing in front right there. Um, got pretty deep. This is before I modified my car, but she did it all right. Now she does it like an absolute beast, but coming up to this next stream, I didn't realize how deep it was. And I kind of realized halfway through, punched it, got the water all over the bonnet. Lucky I've got a snorkel, but we finally made it to our campsite and I've half set up the hammock that I'm gonna use, but I have to go straight to fishing because there's trout everywhere. And the water's fairly clear, a little bit dirty today, but it's normally clear in this, but I spot a trout almost instantly. I slowed it down for you guys so you can have a look. So have a look right there. It's not a bad sized trout and I stalk it for a long time and I managed to get it. Check out that. How's that for a fish? The rainbow right there, huge. So I managed to get one on the board and I come back now and Libby's already cooking dinner. She's got the camp set up. We're using a little Heston grill to actually uh, cook our food on. We've got the main fire and then got this grill. She's got some lamb cutlets, asparagus and steak. And um, we don't need carbs in this household. No, I'm just kidding. We eat plenty of carbs and it's coming right up after this. Keep that fire going. And I decided to make some damper. If anyone wants this easy recipe, just uh, comment in it and I'll, uh, I'll put up a recipe. I actually got it from YouTube and it's so simple. You put it in that Dutch oven, you're putting some coals on top and you leave it for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then uh, the blower is always good because you can blow off the charcoal. And then voila, have a look at this. It came out perfect. Perfect golden brown. And I'm proud of it. I'm pretty proud of it. This is the first time I've ever cooked it. Have a look at that steam that comes as soon as I break. It's actually really hot and almost burns my hands. But basically, you're just going to add some butter. And you can add whatever you want. You can add jam, honey. I chose honey today. We brought honey with us. Butter, honey. And I don't know if you can get anything better. So simple and easy. There's nothing better next to a fire eating a little bit of damper. I then test out my hammock and I zip it up there. How cool is it? I'm right next to the stream and dead set. All I'm hearing all night is trout feeding at the top of the water. Um, it's such a cool spot. It was getting me keen to go fishing. So when I woke up in the morning, I woke up super early. It was foggy. It was hazy. It was a beautiful morning. Libby's sleeping in the back of the ute still. So I thought this would be the best time to actually go fishing. Um, and seriously, after maybe a couple of casts, I pull this thing out of the water, a beautiful rainbow trout. I just tossed one of those hard plastics out there and it basically took it straight away. So that's coming home with me so I can actually smoke it. Libby's still fast asleep. So I uh, thought no better time to start getting breakfast ready. As soon as she started smelling it, she got up straight away and started filming me. You got sausages, baked beans, tomatoes, and it was the perfect ending to a cool little camping trip. 